Well, ANC President Cyril Ramaphosa is expected to lead a delegation of the ANC to Fort Beaufort in the Eastern Cape. He will deliver a memorial lecture in honor of one of our pioneering social and political activists, Charlotte Manyamateke. She was born on this day 150 years ago. Members of the family will also join Ramaphosa, national and provincial leaders of the party. Avi Wemtila is in Fort Beaufort in the Eastern Cape. Let's find out from him what is happening to, to mark the day. Avi, well, yes, so what's the plan for today? How do we mark, how do we remember? Remember this great woman. Yveka, dignitaries are already trickling in in Fort Beaufort to remember the stalwart Charlotte Manya Magdaka. You'd remember that uh, she's understood to be uh, to have been born here, and already dignitaries such as um, Minister Estella Abram Dabeni, as well as Zizikoto, among the few that we've just seen. I want to quickly grab Zizikoto quickly just to understand um, the reasoning behind celebrating this momentous woman. Um, maybe remind our viewers of her legacy and what she's done for the country. Well, in the January 8th statement of the African National Congress, annually we do highlight the very significant and historic moments in the history of liberation. And you would know that uh, there are certain individuals who prominently played a very important role. Mama Kweke was one among them. But also we are celebrating what she stood for and what she stood against. And those two are very important. As you know that we are still facing the challenges of patriarchy, the challenges of racism today, the challenges of poverty. And it's important that as we celebrate the role of women like her who played, we must as well talk about women empowerment in 2021. And therefore, as we celebrate their lives, we must also entrench the agenda of women empowerment, gender sensitivity, which are some of the issues that are still plague our society. When we talk about patriarchy, for an example. And that's why we thought important not to celebrate her life in Joanna's back, but where she comes from. And as we can see, many women here, including what government is doing to empower women. I see the number of projects that will be handed over by the president and the leadership here. This is very significant in the life of the government that is led by the African National Congress, elected democratically, that it must come back and be seen in these mountains of Fort Beaufort, where most of people who are really uh, face day-to-day -day challenges can see government changing their lives. Now, she was the first um, black African woman to obtain a degree uh, in 1901, and she was really fighting for education among women, among farmers. But it's sad to see the reality of today while students are out there fighting for free education that was promised to them by the governing African National Congress. Her legacy is somewhat tarnished by this, don't you think? You will notice that uh, the, throughout the years, education throughout the years of the African National Congress is an apex priority. Apex priority, that is not withstanding the challenges we face. You will notice that since we came in in 1994, you had about 200 to 4,000 students at higher education. You now have about 1 million. So we've been able at least to achieve the access to higher education. The problem you have is that the ability of the challenge now is quality education. And therefore we have many challenges of funding and so on. It does not take away the fact that we have made Apex uh, education as an Apex because we're inspired by people like her. The challenges we face, those are the issues we're dealing with, including the issues of funding. Thank you very much, Zizukoto. But um, I just want to quickly grab one of the PEC members, Yuveka, just to understand better in the Eastern Cape the program of the day. What, what do we expect to happen today? Thank you for joining us at the NCA. Thank you very much. Uh, good morning to the listeners of NCA and viewers of the NCA. Uh, we're here at, uh, at, at the Raymond Mklaba uh, municipality. We're celebrating, commemorating the life and times of Mama Makleke. Uh, she was born uh, in this uh, village where we are now. We are celebrating the women leadership 20, 2021 has been declared by the president as a commemoration year of Mama Makleke um, under the African National Congress stewardship and leadership. We are commemorating the times and lives of uh, women leadership in the ANC broadly. Mama Makleke, Winnie Mandela and many other strong women who participated in the struggle for the liberation of people of South Africa. Thank you very much. And Yuveka, the president is expected to be briefed here uh, in a few minutes at about 9.30 in a tent night beside me. And then uh, from there on, the official program uh, will be underway. And expect that this is um, a mammoth woman, if I can put Absolutely. it in that way. Uh, first woman to obtain a degree, African woman. Um, and even went on just to um, politically fight. You'd understand she was among the few women that were there when the South African Native National Congress, which is now known to be the ANC, 
Nancy was formulated back in 1912. She was among those women that led the 700 strong women marching to then um, President Louis Bota, uh, burning passes just in um, demonstrating that they're not wanting those passes. So a uh, life worth celebrating and she would be turning 150 years today, Yuveka. Absolutely, uh, Aviwe. And uh, we've named the hospital after her, but we don't talk about her nearly enough. Uh, thanks for that. We'll catch up with you uh, throughout uh, this event there. Well,